So we just got back from our walk. I am hydrating. <laughs> the puppies are probably going to take a little nap behind me. I make them wait um, at least an hour before they uh, get to eat their breakfast so that they're nice and calm and it doesn't cause any tummy issues. And on a normal weekday, um, I'm filming this on Friday the 17th. I'm actually off today. So my day's gonna be a little different, but normally we walk in the morning and then I come home after work and do my workout at 6 p.m. But I think since I'm already like warmed up from the walk and kind of sweaty and gross, I'm gonna go ahead and knock my workout out of the way um, after I drink a little bit more water. Um, I don't usually get hungry for breakfast till around 10. And I think I'm gonna try to push it to 11.30. I'm slowly starting to try intermittent fasting. I've only been successful from doing like uh, 11.30 to 7.30 like a couple days. Cause some mornings I am a lot hungrier and I can't quite <laughs> push it to 11.30 but I'm trying just to see if it makes a difference. So yeah, gonna drink some water. Um, I try to drink 100 ounces a day. Most days I <laughs> She's breathing so loud. She gets so tired. Oh, goodness. That's a workout for her. She used to get tired after 10 minutes of walking. So she's doing so good. I'm so proud of her. And there's Benny up there. But they love their walks. Um, anyways trying to get up to 100 ounces of water a day. Um, most days I do reach it. Um, if I start kind of earlier in the morning, I try to keep one of these. It's like one of the blender bottles. I try to fill it up all the way at night and leave it on my bedside table so in the morning I can start drinking water. I can't drink really cold water first thing in the morning, but I can drink room temperature water and I usually sip on it before our walk. And then I try to get a full one down um, before I leave for work. So it's 28 ounces. And that usually starts off my day pretty well. And then, yeah. So I'm gonna get my workout done. I'm doing beach body. Let me see if I can show you guys. So there's a glare from the light, but I am doing beach body. Um, I am not a gym person. I'd rather work out at home by myself because my workouts aren't pretty. And I'm doing the 21 day fix. So I am on week two, uh, let's see, one, two, three. Okay, so today is Pilates. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead and do that real quick. Then I can feed the puppies and then take a shower and get ready for the day. I actually need to run to the grocery store because I'm out of blueberries for my oatmeal. So I'm gonna do my workout and I will 
check in with you guys here in a little bit when I'm done. It is now like 10 20 showered put on some makeup I haven't worn makeup in a week or two um I rarely wear makeup to work anymore because I'm just in my office I don't really I see like my coworkers, and that's about it um so I don't really worry about it and I think my skin has thanked me for it my skin looks pretty good right now um but anyways, I'm gonna run to the grocery store. I'm starting to get a little hungry, but I think I'll be okay. I did refill my water, so I'm gonna try to finish that before breakfast at 11.30. So I will show you guys what I get at the grocery store when I get back. All right, guys, switching over to voiceover. So I did want to point out this really cute bag I got from Kimberly Flanagan's shop. Absolutely love it. And I just discovered in the pocket her thank you note from my order. I didn't find it until I was checking out the grocery store. So I don't think she'll see this, but just in case, thank you so much, Kimberly. Your note was so, so incredibly sweet. And yeah, let's dive in to see what I picked up at Walmart. The first thing I have are instant oats. I actually prefer instant oats over any other kind and they're really easy to take to work. And then cotton candy grapes are back. So of course I had to get some, they were kind of expensive, like eight bucks I wanna say, but they were absolutely delicious. And then something that I buy pretty much every single week are the organic frozen blueberries. These are so good. These are probably the ble the blessed, <laughs> the best blueberries ever, especially in my like little town. They're they're the best in town. And then I am switching back over to soy milk because of the protein and I just really like the macros of the soy milk and it's actually more environmentally friendly versus almond milk. Although I still love almond milk. And then I just grabbed a thing of ground cumin because I thought I was out, but I really wasn't. <laughs> so I now have like three things of cumin. In my next grocery bag, that bag is from Bagu, I think is how you say it. They're so adorable. Is anybody else obsessed with tote bags and grocery bags? Just me. That's cool. So I got a yellow sweet onion. I got some organic bell peppers and some Brussels sprouts. And then I got some really big sweet potatoes. These are actually for my puppy dogs. And then I got a bag of organic, that's a little messy, um, organic russet potatoes for some oil-free potato fries. They're like my favorite meal ever. And then moving on to bag number three. Look how ridiculous this packaging is. Yeah, these are organic zucchini and I don't know why they have to use so much plastic in the produce department. And then, and then this is kind of hypocritical of me. Um, I do grab a couple of these instant brown rices just to have on hand. Um, they're really easy to grab and take to work if I'm in a pinch. That way I'm not reaching for unhealthy things. So I only grab a couple every couple of weeks. But I feel like I do well in other areas. So it's all about balance. <laughs> all right. So then I grabbed four cans of peas. These are actually also for my puppy dogs. And then I needed some body wash. Dove is officially cruelty free now, which thank you goodness because I have the world's most sensitive skin and it's just my favorite body wash. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. And then had to get some toilet paper because that's life. So yeah, this was my grocery haul. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got at the grocery store and let's get to cooking some breakfast. Oh, and I'll have Kimberly's shop link down below as well. All right, while I get my breakfast started, I wanted to show you the supplements I take every morning on an empty stomach. So this is my probiotic and my vegan omega-3. I actually just added this back in. Um, haven't been taking it very long, but after watching a video from, I think it was Lily Koi Hawaii, um, I decided to add it back in and give it a try. And then of course, a daily probiotic is so important. I would recommend it for everybody. 
So for breakfast, I am of course cooking up some oatmeal. So I use half a cup of rolled oats, a cup of almond milk that I'm finishing, and then I add in a cup of frozen blueberries. If you have not tried mixing in frozen blueberries to your oatmeal, please give it a try. They hold their shape and juiciness is so much better and it turns your oatmeal purple so it's a lot of fun and then I have this super cute bamboo spoon from Miss Kimberly's shop which I think I already said I will have it linked down below and that was breakfast then a few hours later it was lunchtime so I'm just going to do some roasted oil free roasted potatoes and I'm just gonna give these a quick clean a little scrub and get them chopped up and seasoned so I keep it pretty simple all I'm going to put on here is some pepper Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute it's my absolute favorite seasoning it is salt free and then I'm just going to add some smoked paprika and then I put these into the oven cold so I don't like preheat the oven first because I find with oil free roasting it just works so much better and I usually put my potatoes around 400 425 depending on how fast I want them to cook and these probably roasted for about 45 minutes and sometimes I add salt sometimes I don't I don't use a ton of salt but yeah, I do usually dip in ketchup or something, so that adds more flavor. And then while my potatoes were cooking, I had a bowl of grapes. All right, here is my lunch. Big plate of delicious potatoes, just dipping it in some organic ketchup. And I will put the macros right here for you guys. Um, I even weighed them out so that I could show you guys but basically this whole plate well the potatoes are about 300 calories and I'm probably eating that's probably about 30 calories of ketchup so not bad for a meal that's gonna keep me really full and satisfied until dinner and it's delicious so don't be afraid to eat potatoes guys they're they're not the enemy just skip the oil time for the puppies to eat got their peas in there Polly go sit and then I'm gonna start cooking I'm right in the shadow And if you're curious, both puppies are eating a vegan dog food. They have been vegan puppy dogs for, uh, I want to say a year and a half. It was a little while after I went vegan. And they are both perfectly healthy. The vet approved it. And... I'll post a picture of Polly's dog food here because I dump hers out because I get like a 30 pound bag. I order all their food from Chewy.com. And this one is Bentley's food. It's the Halo Vegan dog food. And he's this one because the kibble is smaller probably can't see that then the v-dog and the small breed v-dog food is just not cost effective at all you can only get like a four pound bag of the small breed for like 30 bucks and his halo dog food is a 10 pound bag for the price kind of fluctuates on chewy it goes anywhere from like 28 to 35 so it's not the cheapest, but they're worth it. They're actually both allergic to poultry. And Polly used to suffer from really, really bad allergies. And this has pretty much cleared it all up. So yeah, that's what they eat. And then I always add in vegetables. In the morning, they get pumpkin or sweet potato. And then in the evening, as y'all just saw, they get peas or green beans is also another favorite. Okay, so for dinner, I'm kind of taking inspiration from this recipe that I've made several times. And I will link it down below. But I'm gonna change it up just a little bit because I like to add more veggies 
and I wanted just to use some different things <laughs> I don't know so I'm gonna use Italian seasoning red pepper flakes tomato paste a can of diced tomatoes instead of using a like raw tomato I prefer using those in recipes instead of two cans of garbanzo beans I'm gonna use one can of garbanzo beans and one can of kidney beans because I only had one can of those and I really like kidney beans I'm thinking about instead of making brown rice to eat on the side I might just put half a cup of barley in the stew I got a zucchini garlic onion better than bouillon vegetable base three carrots this giant red pepper that I got today and then this is dated for today so I think I'm just gonna chop this up a little bit smaller and throw that in as well so I will show you guys how this turns out I'm really excited all right so far I have the onions and I just threw the garlic in oil free sauteing I just keep a smaller measuring cup next to me and just put water in it when the pan looks like it's getting too dry so I just started smelling the garlic pretty well your nose will tell you when the garlic's done so I'm gonna throw the carrots in and let that go for a few minutes and I'm gonna get the bell pepper chopped up and add that in next along with the zucchini so going well so far all right so I got the bell pepper and the zucchini in and I went ahead and added some black pepper and Italian seasoning and it seriously smells so good so I'm gonna let that go for a few minutes so I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the beans and tomatoes and tomato paste in and then probably go ahead and do after a few minutes do the water and some vegetable base bouillon get the broccoli in there probably put the lid on it so the broccoli can cook up and steam and then I will get in the barley and just kind of let it simmer for probably 20 ish minutes and we should be good to go all right so I got almost everything added I did two tablespoons of the tomato paste the canned tomatoes both of the beans after giving them a really good rinse and I did almost a tablespoon of this this is gonna make a huge portion so it is okay and then I just filled this can up twice with water and added that so I'm gonna bring this to a simmer and then add the barley I don't think I have room for the broccoli because this pans almost full which is kind of a bummer maybe I'll add half of the bag we'll see but I definitely need to get the barley in all right so people came home so I had to switch back over to voiceover so I got all the broccoli in and I just covered it and let it simmer for close to an hour I definitely recommend quick cooking barley if you try out this recipe but guys it was so so delicious like one bowl had almost 13 grams of protein and people say plants don't have protein but definitely give this recipe a try I had this for a couple days and it was absolutely delicious the longer it sat in the fridge so finished dinner well quite a bit ago it's almost nine o'clock and me and the pups I think are gonna watch a little bit of Netflix I'm usually in bed between 9 and 10 because that 5 30 a.m. alarm comes early so we're gonna get ready for bed and I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day video give it a thumbs up if you did let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these and thank you guys so much for all of your love and support and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye